Millennium, Wikipedia article audio. A millennium is a period equal to 1,000 years, also called kilo years. It derives from the Latin mil, thousand, and annus, year. It is often, but not always, related to a particular dating system. Counting years Ordinal Ranges Debate over millennium celebrations Viewpoint 1, X001Y000 Viewpoint 2, X000X999 Popular Approach Popular Culture Sometimes, it is used specifically for periods of a thousand years that begin at the starting point of the calendar in consideration, or in later years that are whole number multiples of a thousand years after it. The term can also refer to an interval of time beginning on any date. Frequently in the latter case it may have religious or theological implications. Sometimes in use, such an interval called a millennium might be interpreted less precisely, i.e., not always being exactly 1,000 years long. It could be, for example, 1,050, etc. There are two methods of counting years, current years and elapsed years. This latter method is used in India. The original method of counting years was ordinal, whether first year AD or regnal tenth year of King Henry VIII. This ordinal numbering is still in the names of the millennia and centuries, for example first millennium or the tenth century, and sometimes in the names of decades, e.g., first decade of the eleventh century. The main issues arise from the content of the various year ranges. Similar issues affect the contents of centuries. Decades are usually referred to by their leading numbers, the decade called 1990s would by its naming not include 2000. Similarly the century called the 1900s includes 1900 but not 2000. Those following ordinal year names naturally choose. Those who are influenced by the leading digit equally naturally choose. The common Western calendar has been defined with counting origin 1. Thus each period of 1000 years concludes with a year number with three zeros, e.g., the first thousand years in the Western calendar included the year 1000. However, there are two viewpoints about how millennia should be thought of in practice. One viewpoint relies on the formal operation of the calendar, while the other appeals to other notions that attract popular sentiment. Stephen Jay Gould argued that the choice is arbitrary, and since the question revolves around rules made by people, rather than a natural phenomenon that is subject to experimental measurement, the matter cannot be resolved. The ISO 8601 employed in a number of contexts, uses the astronomical calendar, in which year counting starts at zero. Thus, when using this calendar, the millennium starts at X000 and ends at X999. There was a popular debate leading up to the celebrations of the year 2000 as to whether the beginning of that year should be understood as the beginning of a new millennium. Historically there has been debate around the turn of previous decades, centuries, and millennia. The issue is tied to the convention of using ordinal numbers to count millennia, as opposed to the 2000s, which is unambiguous as it does not depend on which year counting starts. The first convention is common in English-speaking countries, but the latter is favored in for example Sweden. Those holding that the arrival of the new millennium should be celebrated in the transition from 2000 to 2001, argued that because the Gregorian calendar has no year zero, 
the millennia should be counted from 1 AD. Thus the first period of 1000 complete years runs from the beginning of 1 AD to the end of 1000 AD, and the beginning of the second millennium took place at the beginning of 1001. They also point out that it's mathematically impossible for the third millennium to have begun when 1999 ended regardless of who was in favor. Arthur C. Clarke gave this analogy, if the scale on your grocer's weighing machine began at 1 instead of 0, would you be happy when he claimed he'd sold you 10 kilograms of tea? This statement illustrates the common confusion about the calendar. If one counts from the beginning of AD 1 to the ending of AD 1000, one would have counted 1000 years. The next 1000 years would begin on the first day of 1001. So the calendar has not cheated anyone out of a year. Clark made reference to this viewpoint in his book 3001, The Final Odyssey referring to the Millennium Celebrations on December 31st. 2000. In other words, the argument is based on the fact that the last year of the first 2000 years in the Gregorian calendar was 2000, not 1999. The year 2000 has also been a popular phrase referring to an often utopian future, or a year when stories in such a future were set, adding to its cultural significance. There was also media and public interest in the Y2K bug. People liked to compare their odometer as a reason to celebrate the new millennium which goes from 1999 to 2000. Thus, the populist argument was that the new millennium should begin when the zeros rolled over to 2000, i.e., the day after December 31, 1999. People felt that the change of the hundreds digit in the year number, and the zeros rolling over, created a sense that a new century had begun. This is similar to the common demarcation of decades by their most significant digits, e.g., naming the period 1980-1989 as the 1980s or the 80s. Similarly, it would be valid to celebrate the year 2000 as a cultural event in its own right, and name the period 2000 to 2999 would be the 2000s. In other words, the time period between 1 and 999 would be called the zeros and the period between 1000 and 1999 would be the 1000s. The majority popular approach was to treat the end of 1999 as the end of a millennium and to hold millennium celebrations at midnight between December 31, 1999 and January 1, 2000, as per viewpoint 2. The cultural and psychological significance of the events listed above combined to cause celebrations to be observed one year earlier than the formal Gregorian date. This does not establish that insistence on the formal Gregorian date is incorrect, though some view it as pedantic. Some event organizers hedged their bets by calling their 1999 celebrations things like click referring to the odometer-like rolling over of the nines to zeros. A second approach was to adopt two different views on the millennium problem and celebrate the new millennium twice. 2001 2100 as the current century, 2001 3000 as the current millennium, 2000 2099 as the current century, 2000 2999 as the current millennium.